Greetings, Woodlakers. Oh, it has been too long. My name is Deanna Kim Bassett. I go by Pastor Kim. And I was an intern pastor at Woodlake a couple of years ago. Uh, I was actually shared in the collaboration with Woodlake, Oak Grove, House of Prayer, and I connected also with Tapestry. Today, I'm happy to be invited to share with you some reflections on hope, and for that I picked Romans chapter 15, verse 13. It goes like this. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow. Like who is this God of hope that can fill me with all joy and peace in believing so that I may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit? That almost sounds insane. That is what hope is about in the Word of God, don't you know? That hope that we abound in differs from the kind of hope that we often think about, and the distinction is remarkable. The hope we often think about is like when there is an outcome that we want that will make our lives better. Or the hope we think about is when we find ourselves in a tough situation or envision a better future, perhaps for ourselves. Hope keeps us optimistic, provides a reason to keep going sometimes, and hope motivates us. Hope is trustful and hope gives us security. Hope is a passion, maybe a desire in our heart, like Today, I hoped that my dinner would taste good. And if not, I knew I would just add a little more garlic powder. Also soon, I hope to go ice fishing, but there's a warm spell in the weather patterns right now and it could put a damper on that idea. And I hope to see you soon, but in-person visits aren't safe in the pandemic. We all have different things we hope for in our lives. We hope for something to happen. Our hope for our lives differs from the biblically based hope that we have. As Christians, we share something particularly outrageous. As Christians, we share a hope in Jesus Christ. We are not hoping for something good to happen. Christian hope is a confident affirmation that God is faithful. We believe in the resurrection of the dead because we trust in God who came to us wearing flesh to dwell among us. Christian hope connects us with our ancestors and with our descendants throughout eternity. When we hear the words, hope in God, it doesn't mean cross your fingers, hope in God. Hope in God means expect a miracle. Expect things you didn't imagine. Good things are about to happen that fulfill dreams you don't even have yet. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I'm currently the pastor of a small church in North Minneapolis called Christ the River of Life. It's not the suburban church I imagined when I had my internship at Wood Lake, Oak Grove, and House of Prayer. This is an urban church in North Minneapolis where one third of our neighborhood lives at or below the federal level of poverty. And it houses some of the most caring and connected people you can imagine. It's a miracle that I am there, and more than a small miracle. I hope you will come and visit one day. We worship by Zoom, and today in our Zoom worship, we baptized a man named Michael, who recently came to see Jesus as the truth of all time. And every time I hear that name, Michael, I think of that folk song. Michael, row your boat ashore, hallelujah. And I picture this man rowing a kayak up to the pearly gates. But the water we put on Michael's head 
we uh, used moisture from droplets that could fit on our gloves, our gloved hands. And from our fingertips, we baptized him. But that was only symbolic because the water I pictured in my mind and in my heart was from the whole congregation of the church, including Christ the river of life. And surely Christ the river of life would flow more vivaciously than the Mississippi River even at snowmelt. The baptism of the water gave Michael a hope that was indispensable and he provided testimony about that with his witness of Jesus after the baptism. I hope that you find that same level of abounding hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. God of all time, help us to focus on our Christian hope, especially in this pandemic. Fill our reservoir to overflowing levels. Deep down in the Niagara Falls, of our souls. Make the great hydroelectric generators of joy and peace create a powerful, abounding level of hope to be used for your glory. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>